Hello, today we are going to be talking about landforms that are created by metamorphic rock. So that is um, sedimentary or igneous rock that has been changed to a different state through heat or pressure or both. So in this image, we're having a look at a metamorphic rock um, surrounded by sedimentary, softer sedimentary. So if the sedimentary was uh, uh, sandstone, that would mean that our metamorphic rock would be quartzite. On the surface, our river is running down the hill and this is gradually going to cause erosion of that softer sedimentary rock. Um, as the river level drops, it's going to start revealing some of that metamorphic rock and if the metamorphic uh, rock surface is uneven, we might even see some rapids developing there. And the um, surface is going to continue to erode and you'll see that the metamorphic rock is not really eroding all that much. A plunge pool forms and what happens with a plunge pool is little bits of rock will fall off the waterfall into the plunge pool and erode that plunge pool deeper. So you've got these pebbles and rocks moving around within the space of that plunge pool forming a waterfall that is created by that metamorphic rock. So of course you have many different types of metamorphic rock, everything from um, marble and slate, which we use on the, the roofs of our houses, comes from shale. Um, so they're different types of rocks that can be found in different bands all across the world um, as a result of heat and pressure affecting igneous and sedimentary rocks. I hope that you learned something from this video. Um, please like, share, subscribe so that you and your friends can all learn something new about geography. Um, and let's get through high school geography together.